Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about replacement of hydroxy group through uh, by an halogens, right? So let's talk about our favorite alcohol molecule, which is ethanol, right? Just kidding. All right. So uh, we have, if you want to replace the hydroxy group of uh, this alcohol with a halogen, which is Br, how can we replace that? So previously we talked about that you cannot do this. So CH3, CH2, OH, if you have Br minus, you cannot do this, right? So because Br minus is not a good nucleophile and hydroxy group OH minus is not a good leaving group. So how can we do that? So to, to, to do that, we have to make sure that the hydroxy group, uh, we have to convert this hydroxy group in a molecule so that it would be able to leave uh, appropriately, leave easily, right? So this is how we can do it. So let's say we have an HBr, which is an acid, so that would act as a good source of proton. So we know that oxygen has a lone pair, so this is basic, right? So. Uh, the lone pair on oxygen is basic, so it will be attracted towards proton. So where is a proton here? The proton source is HBr. So let me write this differently here. So uh, the base attacks the proton, and we know Br is a good leaving group, so Let's do that. So what, what was the intermediate that you can form here? CS3, CS2, O, H, H, right? So right now you have two hydrogen attached to oxygen and we still have one lone pair left. So oxygen has uh, give away its lone pair to protons so technically. So which means oxygen should have a positive charge. So you, you can, uh, this theme gonna come over and over where oxygen is gonna have more than two bonds. So if, you, if it has more than two bonds, then it's gonna have, it's gonna have two positive charge. So it's, it's OH plus. So right now you can uh, neutralize the positive charge on oxygen. Well, there are a couple of ways you can do it. You can either move back the hydrogen. So if you do that, you are essentially going backward. This is where you started, right? So we wanna move forward. So the molecule here is what? Is water, right? So water is the leaving group. So this portion here would be our leaving group. So why we call leaving group? Uh, your goal is to neutralize the positive charge. So let me get a different color. So we can neutralize I think let's me put this in a better way. So it's, it has to point towards the oxygen. So if this water molecule goes out, that would be our leaving group. So uh, how can we figure out which is a better leaving group? So in this scenario, on the right here, the water is our leaving group. So what is the conjugate acid of water? Conjugate acid of water is H3O+. Plus. And what is the pKa of H3O plus? We know that this is negative. It's somewhere around negative two. In the previous, in the left-hand side here, what is the leaving group here? OH minus. What is the conjugate acid of OH minus? Is water, right? Uh, so what is the pKa of the leaving, conjugate acid of the leaving group here? It's, it's around 15. So obviously, uh, which one is more acidic? Our H3O plus is more acidic. If it is more acidic, then the corresponding conjugate base would be a weaker base. So if it is weaker base, that means it is a good leaving group. So when we compare between OH minus and H2O, our H2O will become a better leaving group. So now if the group leaves, 
So I'm going to continue our reactions. So uh, let's go back here to the left. So OH attacks on HBr and then uh, you make H2O plus there and obviously the Br would be on its own Br minus. Because it is a uh, primary carbon atom right there so it has to go through SN2 reactions. So in SN2 reactions the attack and the leaving happens at the same step. So if that happens what you'll be making? You will be making, let me color code this, CS3, CH2, Br plus water, right? The water should be white. And that is our product, right? So uh, the second step uh, need, uh, usually it needs a little bit of heat. So uh, if it's primary and uh, secondary carbo, carbo uh, sorry, primary or uh, secondary alcohol, it, it would need a bit of heat here. So he, let's put the heat sign there. So overall, the reaction is, all you have to do is react with HBR, HBR or HCl or HI with the heat and then you can be able to replace your alcohol. So let's do another one. You can draw the mechanism on your own. So, uh, so this is the OH and so what is the product would be? So we will be replacing OH with Cl and what is the side product would be? The OH and H would combine to give you water. So uh, if it's primary or secondary alcohol, then heat required. If it's tertiary, then no heat required. Uh, so let's do a tertiary one, see how the mechanism happens. So uh, most of the time it will prefer SN1 uh, reaction. So we'll see one of one example right now. So let's say we have something, let's have an easy one. So this is a tertiary alcohol, right? It's tertiary alcohol. And you want to do this with, uh, let's do the same one, HBr, why not, right? So I'm drawing the mechanism together so that you will see what is happening with it. So the lone pair attacks the hydrogens. Br runs away with the electron. So the product you will be making is CS3 OH H. Oxygen has three bonds, so it will gonna have a positive charge. And then we will create Br minus. And this would be in equilibrium with it, right? Okay, so uh, at this point, what should we do next? We should we should neutralize the positive channel in oxygen. And we can do that by moving a pair of electrons, the bonding electron between C and O, right? So in the previous example, what happened here? When we uh, move this, CO bond, simultaneously we are attacking the carbon atom. Because, uh, why could we do that? Uh, we could do that because this is a uh, primary carb uh, carbon atom right here. So this is a primary alcohol and this is a primary carbon atom there. So the attack could happen from the behind because it's not crowded. However, our alcohol here is a uh, tertiary so this is tertiary, right? I'll be keep calling tertiary as three degree, guys. Primary as one degree, secondary as two degree, tertiary as three degree. So because it's a tertiary carbon atom, the bromine Br- minus cannot come in and attack simultaneously because it's crowded. And also once this water leaves, 
it will create a tertiary carbocation and we know that tertiary carbocation is more stable right so let's do that So this is a tertiary carbocation and tertiary carbocation is stable. So this is stable plus water. So at this point, uh, because you create a tertiary carbocation, then our uh, nucleophile, which is, what is our nucleophile? Our nucleophile is Br minus because Br minus is still hanging around, right? So Br minus would be able to come in and play, act as a nucleophile, and you will be making our product CS3, 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 and Br. So that is the product that we can form at this point. All right. So, uh, any questions let me know let's do another one so here's quick uh, notes that you should keep in mind so this reactions prefer SN2 react sorry SN1 so this is called substitution nucleophilic one mechanism because you are creating the carbocation first so you are creating the carbocation and then attacking Br minus. So this happens over two steps. So you create the carbocation and then the next step Br minus come in. So it's it's unimolecular reaction. It's not happening together. So this is called SN1 reactions. So this reaction prefer SN1. If you are making a secondary or if you are creating a secondary or tertiary carbocation. If your carbocation is a secondary or tertiary one, then it prefers SN1 style mechanism. Otherwise, it prefer SN2 if you are creating a primary carbocation okay primary carbocation so in this case let's do a quick recap here so let's say we have OH not benzene ring sorry so you have OH plus HCl and heat so what kind of uh, mechanism uh, this reaction will follow so this one obviously will prefer SN1 because it's a secondary alcohol and when the alcohol leaves let's say the alcohol leaves what would what would you be creating you will be creating a secondary carbocation so this is a secondary carbocation right and hence uh, it's, it has to follow our SN1 mechanism okay let's do one uh, complex problem which all right so at this point you all should pause the video and try to solve the problem and then once you're done then unpause the video and uh, try to do it yourself HBR just keep the heat there okay so at this point so uh, on uh, pause the video and then uh, do it yourself Okay, let's Okay, so the first step would be attack, right? And then you move the pair out of bromine. So the uh, arrow should always start from the electron pair, guys. So technically this should be better. Okay, so you have Br in there. 
I'm not worried about the equilibrium signs. I'm just going to do the product here. CH, CH3, OH2 plus, right? Okay, so we have OH2 plus. And so once we have that, so what's going to happen? The OH2 plus would go away. So then that would create CH3, H, CH, CH3. Okay, so the OH2, uh, so what water goes away and obviously we, we will create Br minus, we'll have Br minus hanging in there. So what kind of carbocation is this one? This is our secondary carbocation, right? So this is our secondary carbocation and we know that secondary carbocation is stable enough but at this point, you should ask your ask yourself a question. If it is a secondary carbocation, uh, can we make it better? So what do I mean by better? Uh, we know that tertiary carbocation is more stable than secondary carbocation, right? Tertiary is more stable than secondary. So can you make this carbocation uh, tertiary. If you remember from your organic one, if we do a hydride shift, if the hydrogen moves away from the, this carbon atom, from the neighbor carbon atom, it has to be neighbor carbon atom. If we do that, what we can, so first you try to do hydride shift. If there is, no hydrogen left over in the nearby carbon atom, then you do a uh, alkyl shift, methyl or alkyl shift. So if we do that, what can we make? CS3, C, CS3, CH. So hydride move to the next carbon atom, CH3, and then we have a positive charge here. Now what kind of carbocation is this one? So this is our tertiary carbocation. Okay, so if there is tertiary carbocations, then uh, what happens next? Our uh, nucleophile, which is Br minus, is gonna attack that locations. So you will be making CS3, C, CS3. So bromine would attach here, CH2, CS3. So this is going to be our major product. So uh, if you draw this one, this one will be full credit, right? So if you have done this one, so this is correct. If you would have done the other way around, CS3, CH, CH3. This one is not correct because you did not do the hydride shift or you did not rearrange the carbocation. So carbocation has to be rearranged. All right, so uh, I'm gonna stop here and try try to uh, pay attention to this carbocation rearrangement. So uh, if it is between uh, primary and tertiary, so the reaction always prefer SN1 reactions. It always try to go SN1. So if there is, if you are creating a primary carbocation and it has a possibility to rearrange itself to tertiary, it will do so. So pay attention to that one as well. All right, so I think I, this video is getting way longer than I expected. So I'm gonna stop here.